Hey everyone, it's Frank from Apple One to One. Today's video I want to do on the Notes app, showing some of the new features iOS 18 brings to the Notes application. So what I've done here is I brought up a note. You can bring up any note you'd like. The first thing I want to do is have you tap on the ellipsis in the upper right hand corner and you'll see a list of the things that you can do from this drop down menu scan, pin or unpin, lock the note, meaning you could put a, a password on this particular note. You can search in a note. You can move the note to a folder. The first new thing is math results. The second is recent notes. Recent notes is going to show you a list of all the recent notes you had open. If you want to jump to one of those, just tap on it and it'll bring that note up. The attachment view. Now, any attachments that you add to a note, it's giving you two selections. You can set everything to a small view or set everything to a large view. So we're just going to tap on set it to small. And as we get into it, you'll see the results of that. In this particular note, we want to go to math results. Now, your math results, you have three options insert results, suggest results, or off. So you can turn this feature completely off if you want. But for our purposes here, I'm going to leave it as insert results. If you go to this note uh, where I have Barb picked up the Yamaha H5s, we got them at Guitar Center for $199 each. So if you go in here and we're going to hit return, and I'm going to go to the number pad, I'm going to hit dollar sign 199.99 uh, times 2. Now you see, if I hit the equal sign, it's going to insert the results. If I had it as suggest results, it would have come up above the keyboard and then you can tap it and it'll insert it. Now the key here is when you hit the equal sign, that's when it will calculate based on the equal. That's what triggers it to tell it that it's a formula that you're putting in. We can also expand on this. So if we go back to times two, and then if we said plus numbers seven percent, you can see how it changed the total. So that gave us the $199.99 in, in dollars and cents times two plus 7% for sales tax. To see that again, we'll drop down to below the CAD mics. We'll add a new line and we'll say dollar sign $79.95. times five you see how now if you look at the above the number pad there you'll see you have a couple of suggestions you can tap on any one and it'll automatically put it in but we're not done here so we're going to say 79.95 times five plus seven percent for our sales tax And there you are. So that's your total cost for the C98 mics for five of them, plus 7% sales tax. And that's how you, that's the new math function. Uh, works pretty well. You, pretty much you can, you know, anything you want to put in. Um, now, it's not as robust as numbers, but it's certainly going to be plenty handy in the notes. If you go back to the ellipsis, just to remember, our attached view, we're going to set to small. So what does that mean? So we're going to go down to the bottom, and you'll hit on the space. <clears throat> and you see across you have your functions. The paper clip there is to add an attachment. Tap on it. You can add a file, record an audio, choose a video or photo, scan a document, scan text. So... Here, what I want to do is I want to choose a photo 
And I'm just going to pick a photo here. Hit add. And that's the smaller format. So if we go back and we say attachment view and I say set, set all to large, you see the difference. Again, large, that's large, that's your small. So then when you come in and you, if you want to add another, you come in, choose your photo, add, there it is. That's your attachment function. Now, when you're in your keyboard there and you see all of those formatting settings above, one of the things you can do, which is really nice now, if you click on a section, go to your format, which is the A, you notice you have all of these, you can uh, you switch it to a title, a heading, subheading, body, mono style. All of those are available to you now. We're just gonna to return to body. Also, you can go bold, italicized, underline, strike through. So you can have all of them turned on or any combination thereof. So let's say we want it italicized and underlined. To the right of that, you see that little purple dot? Tap on that. You can select from these particular colors. So we'll use mint. And if you tap on a pencil, once you have an area highlighted, if you tap on that and then X out, you'll see that that highlighted area is now highlighted in mint and the text is mint. If you want a particular word or words or area within there different, then go to your format again, tap on there, and let's say we want that in uh, pink. So now you can have multiple highlighting within a particular item. Kind of neat, very nice. Uh, it can be very useful. Go to the attachments, scan text. It's going to take you. Now, if I hit insert there, so you have to have position your camera over the text. Hit insert where you see those yellow lines over the text so it will then scan that and insert it right into your document so you don't have to type and then here you can you know modify this any any way you'd like if you wanted to highlight an area put it in bold highlight it in a particular color there you go that's your scan text. You can also scan the document, which is, that's not new, but it works much the same way. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how you can add a audio recording to your note. What you're going to do is tap on the paper clip down the bottom, record audio. It brings you into this separate app. Now, here you have a couple of options. You can turn transcript on, which is the quote in the lower left-hand corner, or just hit your record button. If you hit the record button, you're going to see a wave file across the front. Now, you can use this at any time to record uh, a doctor's visits, a conversation uh, of, an, of a meeting, or whatever. And when you're done recording, all you simply do is tap the pause button. Then over on the right-hand corner, it says done. Tap done. And you'll notice it places the recording right in your note. And you have the transcript down the bottom. If you tap on the transcript, it brings you back into your app, and you'll see the transcription right there. And at that point, you can hit the ellipsis, and you can say, add transcript to note. And then it will put the transcript right in the note, as well as the audio file. So you can, you can mix and match and have the best of both worlds. Upcoming in a 
a newer release of iOS 18, 18 18.1, you will be able to record a phone conversation. When that is released, we'll also review that. Hope this helped and uh, let us know in the comments.